Hey baby, I hear the blues are calling, toss salads and scrambled eggs. You never come to potlucks. Yeah, but I just, I, I, I want to come. What can I bring? Can I, can I, can I make fried chicken? Uh, you know what? If you could make a dessert, that would be. Yeah, but I don't really know. I don't know any desserts, how to make any. Can I please, can I just make fried chicken? Hey, what's up guys? Today we're tackling Louis C.K.'s last minute potluck fried chicken, a recipe that features chicken. So first we're gonna break down this bird into 10 pieces. Standard fried chicken breakdown procedure. Easy as that. Then while our giant block of lard comes up to temperature, we're gonna get our coating ready. Now, Louis didn't measure anything, so we're just gonna eyeball about two cups of flour, half tablespoon baking soda, a good shake of garlic powder, cayenne, paprika, salt, and pepper. Next up, we're gonna crack maybe five eggs into a small bowl. Do it with one hand if you wanna be really super impressive. And then we're gonna put a big old squeeze of lemon in there. I think that's to compensate for the fact that there's no buttermilk in this recipe. We're gonna whisk those all together. Oop, almost forgot the cornflakes. We're gonna crush those up in a mortar and pestle, just like Louie. And I want a little bit more, so I'm gonna do two batches of those. Then we're going to dip our chicken in the egg first and then dredge it in the flour. You know how to do it. Then once our lard reaches about 350 degrees, we're going to gently drop it in the oil and let it fry to golden crispy completion. Now overall, this is a pretty standard southern fried chicken recipe, and while normally you always want to brine chicken before frying, the addition of lemon juice to the egg mixture really gave back some of the tang I was missing from a buttermilk soak. It's the perfect recipe if you're headed to a potluck and you need fried chicken like right now. 